Do you ever wonder what you should and shouldn't say to a woman? Well, you're in the right place. Today, we're taking a deep dive into a topic that's often misunderstood and overlooked. The things a man should never, and we mean never, tell a woman. Now, we're not talking about being dishonest or withholding important information. This is about being tactful, respectful, and understanding the boundaries that help maintain healthy relationships. And remember, these aren't just rules for romantic relationships, they're guidelines for all interactions with women in your life. If you find this content interesting, make sure to give us a like and hit that subscribe button. Your support motivates us to bring you more content like this. So buckle up as we dive into the eight things a man should never tell a woman. Number one, your financial details. Now, we're not saying you should keep your partner entirely in the dark about your fiscal situation. Openness is key in a relationship after all. However, divulging too much too soon may lead to awkward situations or potential misunderstandings. It's like walking a tightrope. One side is transparency, the other is oversharing. For instance, let's say you've got a substantial amount of savings tucked away. Sharing this information prematurely could potentially influence the dynamics of your relationship, leading to assumptions or expectations that may not align with your intentions. And on the flip side, maybe you're grappling with debt. While it's essential to be honest, it's equally important to choose the right moment. Revealing this too early might create unnecessary worry or tension. Striking the right balance is crucial. Remember, some things are better left unsaid and your financial status is one of them. Number two, intimate secrets about friends or family. Now we all have those little tidbits of information, those whispers we've heard about our friends or family members, don't we? But here's the thing, those secrets aren't our stories to tell. There's something personal, something that belongs to someone else. You see, when we share these intimate secrets, we're not only breaking the trust of those close to us, but we're also showing a lack of respect for their privacy. And that's not a good look on anyone, is it? So the next time you find yourself on the brink of spilling a secret, take a moment to think. Consider the feelings of the person you're about to expose. Would you want someone to share your secrets without your consent? Probably not. Respect the privacy of others and keep those intimate secrets to yourself. Moving on to number three, unresolved personal issues. Here's a crucial point that many overlook. We all have our struggles and battles to fight and it's perfectly normal to share these with our partners. However, it's vital to remember that timing and context are key. Imagine this scenario. You're on a lovely dinner date, the ambiance is perfect, and out of nowhere, you start discussing your unresolved issues. It's like a cloud suddenly overshadowing the sun. It can be overwhelming, create unnecessary tension, and even give the impression that you're not ready for a healthy relationship. Sharing your personal issues is not about unloading your problems onto her, but rather about seeking understanding and support. It's about trust and vulnerability, but it's also about timing and discretion. Remember, a relationship is a partnership, not a therapy session. Your unresolved issues are yours to deal with, not a burden for her to bear. Number four, regrets about life choices. We've all made choices, some good, some not so good. But here's the thing about regrets. They're a part of our past, not our present. When we share our regrets about life choices with a woman, it can create a negative impression. It might lead her to question your decision-making skills or even judge you based on your past mistakes. Imagine, for instance, expressing regret about a missed business opportunity. It might make you appear indecisive or incapable of seizing the moment. Or consider telling her about a past relationship you wish you hadn't ended. That could lead to doubts about your commitment to the relationship you're in now. The point is, regrets are personal. They're lessons learned not stories to be shared lightly. So as much as honesty is valued in a relationship, it's equally important to know what to share and when. Leave the past in the past and focus on the present. Halfway through our list at number five, we have your dislike of her interests or hobbies. Now we all have our individual preferences and that's what makes us unique. It's perfectly fine if you're not into her love for abstract painting, or her fascination with 18th century literature. But here's the thing. It's not about what you like. It's about respecting her individuality. Imagine if she constantly voiced her disdain for your love of football or your incessant need to play the guitar at odd hours. It wouldn't feel great, would it? Well, it's the same for her. Her interests and hobbies are a part of who she is. They bring her joy. And by expressing your dislike, 
you're indirectly belittling her joy. Instead of voicing your dislike, try to engage or at least understand why she loves what she does. You might be surprised at the depth and richness you discover. Remember, respect her interests and hobbies, even if they're not your cup of tea. On to number six, doubts about the relationship. Now, this is a tricky one. We all experience uncertainties from time to time. It's a natural part of being human, but when it comes to relationships, expressing these doubts can often lead to unnecessary insecurity and tension. Imagine walking on a tightrope. You're trying to reach the other side, but suddenly you start questioning the stability of the rope. This uncertainty makes you shaky, increasing your chances of falling. That's exactly what happens when you voice out these doubts. It shakes the foundation of your relationship, making it unstable. Instead, try to address these doubts internally first. Reflect on your feelings, understand their root cause. Is it a fleeting feeling or a deep-seated issue? Once you're sure about your feelings, then it might be time to have a conversation. But remember, the goal should always be resolution, not creating further doubt. Always be sure about your feelings before you express them. Number seven, complaints about her friends or family. In the intricate tapestry of relationships, her friends and family threads are inseparably woven in. Now, it's normal to have disagreements or differing views with them from time to time, but how you handle these situations can make all the difference. Unwarranted complaints or criticisms about her friends or family can be perceived as an attack on her personal relationships. It's like saying, I don't respect the people you choose to surround yourself with, which can strain your relationship with her. Instead, approach these situations with tact and understanding. If you have issues, don't let them fester just to explode later. Address them respectfully and directly. Discuss your concerns in a constructive manner, showing empathy and respect for her feelings. This not only strengthens your bond, but also shows her that you value her relationships as much as she does. Remember, if you have issues, address them respectfully and directly. And finally, number eight, past romantic and sexual details. We've all been there, right? You're in the throes of a new relationship and you're tempted to spill the beans about your past love life. But hold on, mate. Here's the thing. Sharing past romantic and sexual details can often lead to comparison and discomfort. Imagine this. You're telling your partner about your ex and suddenly she starts comparing herself to your past. Uncomfortable, isn't it? It's like walking on a tightrope. One wrong step and the trust can topple. You might think that sharing such details will bring you closer, but in reality, it might just create a rift. The past is a tricky business. It's full of lessons, yes, but it's also full of ghosts that are better left undisturbed. So remember, your past is your past, and it's best to leave it there. And there we have it. The eight things a man should never tell a woman. We've traversed the terrain of tricky topics, from the delicate matter of finances to the intimate secrets of friends and family. We've delved into the depths of personal issues left unresolved and life choices tinged with regret. We've acknowledged the importance of respecting her interests, even if they're not our cup of tea, and the necessity of maintaining confidence in the relationship. We've recognized the potential pitfalls of complaining about her friends or family, and the inherent risks of sharing too much about past romantic and sexual encounters. All this boils down to one thing, respect. Respect for her, respect for the relationship, and respect for the boundaries that maintain a healthy balance. Remember, communication is key, but so is knowing what not to say. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful videos like this one.